Greetings. This is your elder brother, Blacklight. Your motivator. I'm adding another title, or another label. Your custodian. Trying to keep it clean. Things clean because everything is getting dirtied up, mudded up. They try to dirty up your lens to see Master Farad Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad for truly, for who they are truly, who they are. Because this will save you, not only save you, but put you on top of civilization. During this Black History Month, you will see that uh, they, most of the brothers and sisters, only focus on after we came out of slavery or during slavery, during the American beginnings uh, history, what the black man was doing. They won't even take you back to what the black man was doing before Christopher Columbus, they won't give you that. They won't give you that history, but they won't give you history before Kemet, before Egypt. The root of the black man's civilization. They don't want to give it to you, and they tell tell y'all that we're trying to teach hate those that follow the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But after all this time, we would, if we was teaching hate, we would be doing like they do. Running out and lynching black people, shooting black, shooting, I mean running out lynching white people, shooting white people at will, uh, raping them and going crazy. We, we only uh, react to when they unjustly kill we only react when they unjustly kill one of our brothers or sisters but we're telling you the best way to do it is to separate now this is history and we're going to illustrate it by showing you them telling you the truth on this uh, movie, Dr. Duck Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And listen to the words carefully what Dr. Jekyll tell his people because it's in the Quran almost word for word. And we'll explain that to you on the next video. so close as to be chained together in the soul. Man is not truly one, but two. Now supposing we could break that chain, separate those two selves, free the good in man and let it go on to its higher destiny, and segregate the bad. Let it destroy itself in its own degradation. Good heavens. Why, Dr. Jekyll? Hopelessly insane. This is pure balderdash. You're dealing with things it would be better not to mention for your own sake. There might be trouble. Uh, we were talking about the places, the, the number of races and uh, the different kinds. And uh, you, you were saying that there are, are not only black and white races, but also the brown and yellow and red, I believe. Now, what is the relationship of the brown, yellow and red to Islam? Well, Islam is a uh, religion. And uh, the color of the races is people. And uh, Islam is uh, is religion. Yeah. <clears throat> when we say uh, the people of Islam, uh, we mean the, of uh, that uh, religion or that duty to God. And uh, when we refer to the color of the various people of Earth, we are referring to races as they call uh, and nations. And 
the such as brown, yellow, red, coral, they are from the same uh, source of the same father, the black man. He has that, he has that in him. And the white uh, color, it's a color according to the teachings of our uh, Master Farad Muhammad. Um, praise is due, uh, the God in person. Is uh, the, <coughs> the, we call the fifth color, uh, from black. And uh, fi uh, the final color of black, it is not in a more part of the other four. It's uh, completely to itself, it's independent now, uh, to itself. As the, uh, yeah, but it is something uh, which, not only, which though it emerged from the others, is rather completely separate. It uh, has become so different that it is no longer the same as the others. It, 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 its root is from the uh, first, uh -huh. the black. Right. But uh, it has not been taken completely from that and um, within itself is independent. Color. Now, now is Islam, uh, can can white people become Muslims? Not by nature they can't. Mm -hmm. Because Islam uh, means uh, a person who, uh, uh, rather uh, when we say Muslim, it means mostly a person that is uh, actually by nature is born that. Uh, with that quality. Uh, divine uh, belief and uh, submission to that uh, divine will. And by nature they are capable of uh, living and, uh, uh, well, they are capable of just being just that, people uh, that is uh, of the will of God and uh, easily to obey his will. Yet the characteristics of the white man is evil. He was made like that through uh, nature, now we say. Naturally, he was made like that. Uh, we would say, then, uh, devil. We can say a devil uh, cat out there, a devil element, a devil we could call most any grafted thing, a devil, you see. But actually, when we say Satan, we mean uh, a man or a people that their uh, weakness is not, say, uh, confined to themselves. It spreads. And the others is affected by their weakness. And the white man, we say, is the devil. Why? Because of his weak, physically uh, coming into being from original. And be able to prove at all times to the new converts that the lessons that our Savior Allah gave us to study and learn is the fulfillment of the prophecies of all the former prophets concerning the beginning of the devils and the ending of the civilization and of our enslavement by the devils and present time of our delivery from the devils by our Savior Allah, praise his holy name. There is no God but Allah. How that Allah would separate us from the devils and then destroy them and change us into a new and perfect people and fill the earth with freedom, justice, and equality as it was filled with wickedness and making we, the poor lost founds, the perfect rule.